Sagittal synostosis is a fusion of the growth plate down the top of the child's head from the front to the back. You can see how different that is compared to what would be a normal child's skull shape. This is much more elongated and in a lateral view also gives you frontal and posteriorly bossing uh, as well. The fusion of the sagittal suture is actually one of the most common uh, that we see. And there are many different ways to treat this. Uh, standard of care, I think you would say there's probably three different ways to treat this. Um, we offer all three of those options to children at uh, Helen DeVos uh, Hospital. Um, really, it's dependent on the time and the age of the child at, at diagnosis. For younger children, our primary goal is to remove the fused suture and get rid of the abnormal growth plate. That allows us to protect and preserve the normal growth plates for future brain growth. Many bone relaxing incisions are made, all with respect to the lambdoid, the coronal, the metopic sutures which we keep intact. At that young age of diagnosis, that lets us uh, benefit from the growth of the brain that is still yet to come. That is a diagnosis or a treatment option we offer to children uh, younger than about six months of age. As children get a little bit older, we need to decide where the larger deformity is because we'll need to remodel the back or the front, sometimes both, of the head and the skull shape to give the brain adequate room to growth. At an older age, we then hold the bone in place with uh, dissolvable plates, screws, to make sure the shape is maintained uh, through that developmental process. Treatment choice is mostly predicated on the age of the child at the time of diagnosis. The younger the child, the less invasive an operation can be. Um, and it is our strong preference to offer that to children under the age of about five to six months of age. The primary goal is to remove the fused suture down the top of the skull, protect all of the normal sutures that the child has still open for growth, and then release and recontour the skull into a normal shape. Uh, that less invasive operation is much uh, easier on the child and faster in the operating room. With both myself and the pediatric neurosurgeons, we're able to release and restructure the skull in an hour to an hour and a half in the operating room one night in the intensive care unit, and the vast majority of our patients are home on their third day. Postoperatively, within a week or two, a helmet is custom fabricated to help guide the growth of that brain and maintain the shape over the next months of the child's life.